Hello friends, what's up? It's Atrial Manga here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So it is a Friday and I don't know why I'm making this video today because it's literally one of the busiest days of the week for stores. Anyways, regardless though, I am taking you guys along with me on yet again another manga shopping vlog, another manga shopping video, just because these are fun to make. Honestly, they're easy to make and you guys enjoy them. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Regardless though, I'm planning on going to two different stores, obviously Barnes & Noble, I mean Barnes & Noble, my beloved and a local bookstore in the area so i'm gonna take you guys along with me show you guys what they got show you guys my pickups so let's not delay i'm currently sitting and baking in front of my barnes and noble it is so hot today so let's not delay let's get right into it let's obviously go to barnes and noble because i mean what's the manga shopping vlog without going there i don't know if that applies to manga but i hope it does Okay, so this is kind of the entrance, I guess, to the manga section. We got some Danmei novels, we got some Demon Slayer, uh, some Chainsaw Man, a bunch of stuff. So this is pretty much the entrance. They always put out some newer releases or some more popular releases, I think. Um, volume 1's out on that, I guess, end cap thing. Um, but first starting off here, we have Vinland. Vinland, my beloved. We love to see it. Also, we have some way of the house husband. Can we just take a moment? Volume 8 is thick. Like, it is much thicker than the other volumes. I don't think that's a problem. I mean, I'm not collecting it, but I, you know, hear that people are kind of glad that it's thicker. I don't even, I, I mean, I don't even know. Um, next, I have some Wotakoi. Uh, this is a series that I want to try again. I, you know, I was a bit of a dark fantasy elitist when I read it for the first time, so I want to read it again with a fresher, more, uh, you know, open perspective. So I'm probably just going to get the box set for that. Um, then we have Zom 100 Volume 7. I actually really like how this looks. Too bad the story isn't great in my opinion I, I don't really love it um next moving on we have some 20th century boys i just actually finished collecting the singles for that spoiler alert so i'm gonna get into that pretty soon uh really excited to have that finally completed the 21st century boy singles is what i was struggling with um have some other stuff here i don't even i don't know how to say how the flip do you say the series name i don't know but it looks interesting is this done by the same creator as blom that was a total reach. I actually have no idea. I hope I'm right, but I could be I could be really wrong. Um, we have an Astro Boy omnibus, which is kind of cool. Some Attack on Titan. And then we have some Banana Fish. I'm always tempted to collect this series and just start picking up the volumes, but if I were to collect it, I think I would just order it on Right Stuff or something. I don't know. You hate to pay full retail. For a manga series, you know? Uh, some Beastars as well, and then Berserk. Berserk, my beloved. Also, this is a series that um, I've been seeing around. I don't entirely know what it's about, but I know some of my friends enjoy it. I don't love the physical release, but it might be interesting to give a shot later. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, we have some Black Clover, a butt ton of Black Butler. Guys, I'm telling you, there's a ton of Black Butler everywhere I go. I don't know why. Uh, Black Lagoon Volume 12, I think that's a newer release. I personally couldn't get into the manga, um, but I heard that the anime is really good, so I'll probably just go the anime route for that uh random banana fish volume random banana fish volume uh we have blom we have the bleach exclusive cover variant of volume one 20th anniversary i mean i, I don't know bleach is a series that i really just need to actually take time to read one of these days but like i don't know uh then we have blue period i really am enjoying the series um and then is this bomba no, nah, I don't know, but it's it. The cut is interesting. It's a very interesting like physical release of the series. But yeah, I don't know. Then we have a bride story. You you know you love to see it. I'm so glad pe more people are reading that series because I'm really enjoying it. This the, the, those two volumes just were funny to me. Like you can tell when some series have been at Barnes and Noble for forever, and those two are definitely part of that category. It's fine, but it's just it's always little little humorous to me. Uh, Children of the Sea as well. Um, the art looks very interesting. It, it seems like an interesting story. I haven't really you know dove too much into it so I don't really know what it's about but kind of cool seeing that then we have another Tezuka work clockwork apple um I don't hear a whole lot about it and part of me is interested part of me is really not I don't know it's just, I think it's just a short stories collection um but short stories I really don't pick those up often I don't know what this was 
still don't even know. I think it's done by a Blaze manga, which is a um, kind of newer, I think, publishing company, or just not as well known. Deadpool Samurai. Uh, heard actually kind of good things about that one, but I don't think I'll be picking that up. Some random Demon Slayer volumes, some Dungeon Ito. Uh, got some other stuff up here, some Nagatoro. I'm tempted to try it, but I'll probably just try it through the box set route. I don't even know. Uh, Donald Duck manga, my favorite one. <laughs> uh, then we have Doubt, Dr. Stone. I would give my left kidney for a Dr. Stone box set. Um, I actually picked up some of the volumes and I really like it, but I just am kind of holding out for a box set because I really feel like they're going to make one for that series, or at least I hope they do because it's, I actually really enjoyed the first couple volumes I read. Dragon Ball Super, um, some other stuff, Fairy Tale, I mean, as always. This is a, The Faraway Paladin, I think that's how you say it. I've heard really good things about that one. I think Bay Senpai really likes that one. Then we got some Fire Force, Fire Punch, some Fist of the North Star, got some fruits basket as normal free ren full metal alchemist i'm really excited for volume 18 to come out then my set is finally completed that'll feel really good to complete at some point gants part of me wants to try gants i just got to get into it i think also these releases are stunning like so nice they're really nice leather bound books and they're just such high quality i'm definitely picking those up they're so beautiful Got some Grand Blue, some Pun Pun. We all know how I feel about Pun Pun. Some Haikyuu. Really hope for a box set for that as well. I mean, that would just be ideal. I don't want to collect the singles because I'm like, a box set just needs, it just needs to happen, you know? Some Hell's Paradise. Love to see it. Uh, also, newer release, I think, or a release that I didn't know about. Also, the Hellbound second volume. The spine kind of goes crazy. Too bad I'm not picking it up, but it's a cool looking spine. It's a cool looking spine. Hunter Hunter. A bunch of volumes I don't know what they are. <laughs> it always tends to happen. Like there's a stretch where I'm like, what am I looking at? Inuyasha volume two. I need to get Inuyasha at some point. I know I say it weird. I know it's Inuyasha, but I just say Inuyasha because it's easier for me to say. <laughs> and then uh, we have some JoJo's, uh, some Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know why all those volume ones are flipped over. Kind of fun though. At first I'm like, ooh, is this like a variant? No, it's just literally flipped over volumes. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Some more volumes that I don't know. Killing Stalking. It's, I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, and then this is actually one that I was looking for. I don't know how to say it. Kow Kowloon? Ah, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I actually really want to read this one, so I'm definitely grabbing that. Some Slime Manga. Some Toilet Bound. Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, and they had, okay, this was a win too. I didn't realize they would have this um, as early as they did, slash I wasn't expecting it to the bound. Volume 15, need that. Some Yumiko, uh, is that how you say it? I don't even freaking know. Are these rare? Like, are these worth something? Should I hook someone up with these? Like, I don't, I don't entirely know, but they're thick. Like, the reading experience for those have got to be brutal. Like, those are just massive bricks. Another Takahashi series that I need to pick up. Got some Vagabond, always good to see that. Not a whole ton, but just good to see. So, I just got out at Barnes & Noble, and I had probably one of the strangest experiences ever at a Barnes & Noble, so let me just walk you through it. First up, it's a Friday, so it's mad busy. Like, everyone and their mother decided to go to Barnes & Noble today, and there was like a 50% off, I think, select hardcovers. I don't think it included manga. I don't actually know. I probably should have checked. Regardless, though, super, super busy. But that's not the weird thing. The weird thing is, is that, you know, when I was doing my shopping, you know, looking around, filming the shelves, being really awkward because there's a lot of people around me, and I'm just weird like that. Um, I set my manga, you know, sometimes, I don't know if you'd do this, but sometimes when I'm shopping, I'll like set the manga that I pick up like on top of other manga, like in the shelves, just so I have a little bit more room to work with, use my hands, right? Just like, I'm gonna set it there, but I will 
will come back and I will pick it up. So I did that, as one normally does, and I went back to get the manga that, you know, I, I put on the shelf, you know, just hang out there, and it was gone! It was literally gone, I don't know where it went, I don't know who took it, I don't, I don't know what happened to it, but I was so disgruntled, I was really like, double, like, just checking the shelves over and over and over again, like, did I put it where I thought I put it? And I know that I knew where I put it, but it just wasn't there. So to whoever got the volumes that I was going to purchase, I hope you treat them well. But it's fine though, because they actually had duplicate copies, so I'm not like too upset, but I was like very disgruntled for half a second. So anyways, let's run through, I guess, the manga that I picked up at Barnes. First up, I bought Toilet Bound Hanukkah Volume 15. They pump these boys out like freaking crazy. Like I, I think I got volume 14 like last month or something. I don't entirely know, but they're pumping these boys out like crazy. So very excited to have this. Uh, and the quality is actually good, which is very, very good. No dings or anything on the spine. Um, so yeah, excited to have this. Um, and then the second manga that I picked up is the manga that I wanted to get when I came here. So I'm very excited about that. I don't know how to say it. Um, I don't know how to say it. Co Coloon? Coloon? Cause some, I don't entirely know, um, but this is by the same mangaka as After the Rain, I believe that's the title. Um, and I've heard like decent things, it's kind of like a mystery, maybe slice of life, uh, romance type vibe, so I don't know, I'm gonna give this a shot. I've seen it kind of all around on uh, manga Instagram recently, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll make sure to let you guys know. Um, but that is the haul from Barnes and Noble, so now I am going to a local bookstore um, to see what they have. Sometimes they have like some low-key bangers. I don't know, hopefully we find some good stuff, but this is the Barnes & Noble haul, and let's go on to the next store. Okay, so we're at the other store, and first up, they actually have a used book section, and they do, from time to time, have some used manga. I've actually found some really good things in this section before. They had some Yu Yu one time, they had some Roroni Kenshin, but yeah, I always check it out. Only fairy tale that I really recognize, though. Um, but now moving on to the, I guess, new section. Uh, they have a little table out of recommendations, but then they also just have some normal selection stuff. Got some Mouse and Borderlands, some Beastars, Apothecary Diaries, After the Rain, which is done by the same mangaka, um, again, as that other series that I picked up in this video. Um, they also had Bleach Omnibuses, which I feel like I haven't seen those in an exceedingly long time, so that was kind of interesting. I don't entirely know. Um, some Blue Lock, fantastic. Cannot wait for Volume 2. Love Chainsaw Man. And then some Death Note, Deadpool Samurai, Die Dark, some other random things down there. Then they had the Girl from the Other Side, again, hardcover deluxe edition, love that. They also had Gangsta Volumes 1 and 2. I can't remember the last time I saw Gangsta in store. Like, I feel like it's been a while. Also, uh, Ghost Reaper Girl, do we know if this is good? Is it good? What's the status? I think it's an, it's newer, so I just don't know if it's any good. Um, Haikyuu Volume 19. So this actually, uh, my roommate May needs this copy. She's been looking for this copy for a really long time. Um, so I definitely scooped that up for her. Some more Hunter Hunter, Great Pretender. I want Volume 2 of Great Pretender to exist. I don't know if it does, but I'd really like it to. Some Kirby manga, Kowloon. Boy, I'm probably saying that so bad. I am so sorry if it's the incorrect pronunciation, which I'm sure it is because manga readers, yeah, we're something. Uh, Inuyasha Volume 1, again, definitely need to collect this at some point. Um, it's just such a bear to collect. It's expensive. Let's just be real. It's expensive. Got some My Hero. Actually, very excited for the box set to come out. I think it's coming out in October, I want to say. I pre-ordered it for like a hundred bucks, so I'm actually really excited for that. I'm excited to finally get into it to uh, try to understand the hype. Uh, Phantom Tales of the Night. This is another series that my roommate May really, really enjoys and a lot of people really enjoy. I gave it a shot a while ago and it wasn't my favorite thing, but part of me wants to try it again. Give it another whirl. Uh, Ragna Crimson, love that series. Again, very excited for volume, I think six, to come out this month. Skip and Loafer, cute series. I do enjoy it. I'm actually really excited for the anime for that one. I think that's going to be a really well translated, fingers crossed, anime. Sweat and Soap, I love Sweat and Soap. Tokyo Revengers, normal edition. Part of me was like, do I get both 
volume one releases, but I'm like, what are you gonna do with two volume ones? Like, you're not gonna do anything with it. You don't need both. <laughs> but I was tempted, I'll admit. Then we have some Yona, actually. Uh, two and three, I actually have both of those earlier volumes. Um, but this store will sometimes randomly get earlier volumes of Yona. Uh, so I always check for Yona at the store because it's kind of come in clutch a couple times. Uh, then they also kind of have this middle section. Uh, one piece box set, okay pop off. It's always so weird to see those in stores because of how out of stock they were for the longest time. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, they kind of just have manga stacked sideways. It's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, our colors. I don't know what this is about. It looks cool. I don't think I've heard too much about it either, so I don't know. Does anyone have any insight? Do we know? Also, those Death Note covers were so curved. That's such a bummer. Um, so yeah, that is the store. Okay, so I just got out of the local bookstore and this store was a success, not for me per se, but for my roommate May. She has been looking for this volume for a very, very long time and that is Haikyuu volume 19. Uh, she, again, she's been needing this for so long. I always look at bookstores for her. I always look at the Haikyuu section I'm like, is there, is there volume 19? But volume 19, I know that this is getting restocked. I know that it's been out of stock for a very, very long time. So very excited to pick this up for her. So that is actually the end of today's manga haul. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Honestly, I think very, very respectable. You know, sometimes you don't need the massive manga hauls. Sometimes you gotta be responsible and today was they. So. That was my manga haul for the day. Very excited to read all of these. If you want to know how I feel about them, make sure to go follow me on Instagram at hvlmanga. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.